question does confuse students, but if you just stick around and see how we do it, there is a method to how to do a question like this. And once you understand it, it's very easy. So they're saying that all the terms that are divisible by five are going to be removed. Determine the sum of the remaining terms. So pretty much we've got this long sequence over here that goes all the way up to 301. And they want to know what is the sum of all the remaining terms once you remove the divisible by fives. So my approach is to do the following. I completely ignore this part. What I do is I work out the sum of this sequence first. So we can see that it's arithmetic because you're plussing two each time. So we can use the sum formula of an arithmetic pattern. The issue is, is that we don't know the number of terms. So what we do, we have a little trick. We know that the last term is 301. So we use the TN formula. And then what we do is we know that the last term is 301. So we say 301 equals to A, which is 13, plus N we don't know. And then D is the difference of two. Now we can just go ahead and solve this. So I'm gonna move the 13 over to the left, which gives me 288 equals to n minus 1 times 2. You can multiply the 2 into the bracket, but I like to rather divide it on the left. So we end up with 144 equals to n minus 1, solve for n, and we get 145. So what that technically means is that 301 is at position 145. But because it's the last term, that also shows us how many terms we have. So in this original sequence, we have 145 terms. So we can go work out the sum of all of those numbers now by saying sum of 145 terms equals to 145 over two, two times, now A is 13, 145 minus one, and our common difference is two. And so we end up with 22,765. So that's what, that's what the sum will be if you add up all of these numbers. 22,765. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the next part of the question, which is to look at the terms that are divisible by five. So let's go find them. I'm gonna write out the first couple of terms. And I recommend you find the first three terms that are divisible by five. And let's see if they make a pattern. And sometimes it does actually take quite long until you find the first three. But here they are. The number 15 is divisible by five, the number 25, and the number 35. Guess what? Those numbers form their own pattern. And it always will work out like this. 15, 25, 35. Look at that. It's its own little pattern. So what we need to do now is try work out the sum of this pattern. The problem is we don't know where it stops. However, we do know that in the original sequence, the last term is 301. So we can't go past that. So then Kevin, does this mean that our last term on this one should be 301? Well, no, because that's not divisible by five. But what we can do is we can try imagine what the last term would be in this sequence that is divisible by five. So we can work backwards. This would be 299, 297, and 295. That is divisible by five. So that'll be the last term in this pattern. So now our goal is to find the sum of all of these terms. Once again, we don't know how many terms there are, but we can use our TN formula to work out the term number of 295. So we're using this formula over here once again, and we can say 295 equals to A, which is 15, plus now N we don't know. Now the common difference is not two, because we're busy with a new sequence now, so that's gonna be 10. Now we just move stuff around. I'm then gonna divide by 10, which gives me 28. Now I move the minus one over, so that means 29. So we have 29 terms in our divisible by five sequence. So now what we can do is use this formula to work out the sum of those 29 terms, which would be 29 over two, two times, now A for that sequence is 15, 29 minus one, and then the common difference in that sequence is 10. 
and that gives us 4,495. All right, guys, so here's where it all comes together. When we add it up, all of these terms, we got 22,765. We then looked at all the numbers that are divisible by 5, added them together, and got 4495. So the question says, determine the sum of the remaining terms if you take away the divisible by 5s. Well, you would end up with, I'm going to say sum of remaining, would obviously be the total minus the divisible by 5 sum, and that will give us a value of 18,000. 270. 